All right, so originally I wasn't gonna make a video today. It's Thursday. That's normally a day. If I'm not gonna post a video, that'll be the day it's on. But I read this huge post about the server rewrite and how it's almost finished. <laughs> almost finished. Um, and I thought I'd break it down. Plus, there's a bunch of cool stuff happening this weekend that I want to talk about. I know I mostly just do AQW news on my channel now, which I don't know if you like that or not. Leave a comment down below. Let's see. Let's get into the video. All right, so this weekend, if you log on to the server, let me just pull it over here to my other window. Boom. There we go. This is I know it's, I don't know, this is where you get some news. Also, Twitter. Uh, mostly, what I like to do in my news videos, why I think they're helpful is I kind of take all the news from everywhere and put in the one video, but this time we'll just read a design notes post, so if you want to listen to me, my thoughts and stuff, that's kind of what this video is for. So if you play on any of these servers right here, Zorbax, Sephira, Cicero, Alina, Netheria, or the testing server 2, which is the testing server, that's the one they want you to play on, submit bugs, so you can go through, and you can still get your test mission sprockets for the free AC pet, and they have also confirmed in this post that that will still be a thing. Uh, there's double class points, rep, XP, and gold on all these servers. So if you don't have a level 65 char characters and level capped, or if you need a little bit of gold, or to rank up that class you just got, then this would be the weekend to do it. I'm pretty sure this will go till Saturday, or not Saturday, Sunday night, Sunday at midnight, probably server time, Sunday midnight, server time would be when this ends. So that would be my guess. And very, very cool. They also want you to play on testing servers so you can report the bugs. They say that this is going to be the last testing weekend for the server, which would mean the testing server goes offline after this weekend and is implemented into every server, uh, which is interesting. Okay, so they go on to explain what the server rewrite is. Basically, uh, it, they're rebuilding the servers. Uh, they explain that they were using prior, uh, like technology, like older technology, to base a server off and they couldn't like change their base foundation of the servers so they have to completely rewrite them and do it with their own code because i think they were using some uh code that was made uh sort of for flash games or whatever before and that they're building the code from the ground up by themselves now that's why it's taking so long uh with certain features that they relied on the other code for that for those features uh, it's probably what that the reason why it's taking so long is because they have to like there's a bunch of features that used to just work and they didn't really have to worry about but now uh, they're kind of broken with the new servers that they're using so uh, it goes through in the details what the different stages were full of uh, player PTR live uh, final test weekend that's right now happening and then the full launch of server rewrite phase one so there's two phases currently in the works uh, phase one will be the one implemented in the most current iteration that'll be the one that's coming the soonest which will probably uh, should be soon and they go through phase two phase two is when the fun happens uh that's when we add friendless syncing so i think will that not be a feature i thought that's already a thing in game i tell me is that not a thing do you not have the same friends list on each server i thought you did okay uh bank item previous i really really want this i suggested this for a while and i'm glad glad they're adding that Better PvP and guild functionality, that's interesting. I don't know if they're going to add to guilds functionality. I can think of a million things to add to PvP. I would like ranking systems, uh, the amount of your know, win-loss, like how many matches you've won, how many you've lost, uh, like a bunch of different stuff, like making the amulet, making everyone on a fair uh, playing field, so like not having a member-only amulet that gives you more health. That would be great. You know, you could actually do that right now, Artist Entertainment. Please do that. Okay, so... Um, adding rank team passives to new classes, so like uh, going through all the old classes, adding passives to them, and every new class that comes out in AQW will now have a rank 10 passive. I don't know why. My brain paused right there for a second. So yeah, rank 10 passives, that's the thing. Cross server world chat. This is cool. I like this. So even if you're not on the same server as someone, like say your friend's online, he's playing on Arctic, and you're on Sephiria, uh, you can still send him a message, send him a PM on uh, the server thing, or... In, if you're in guild chat and your guild's playing on a different server than you're on, uh, you can still see the guild chat in uh, on your server, which is very nice. And then, of course, we have the better anti-botting and reporting functionality, which they should have had this in the game forever. But yeah, uh, it's good that that'll finally happen. 
So test mission sprockets, uh, I still go through this. They're still dropping from all quests. Uh, wait, for those completed quests, the test server may have noticed a new item dropping. Yeah, that's the test mission sprockets. Uh, so if you collect 150 of them, which is the cap on them, that's not like a low amount, that's the max amount you can have. Uh, you'll be able to get a zero AC server bank pet. Uh, that's the name of the bank pet right there. Server bank pet. Uh, it's not member only. A lot of people will ask about that. It is a non-member bank pet, zero AC, which means you can store it in your bank for free if you're not using it, which kind of defeats the purpose of a bank pet. <laughs> but but it's cool. I already have a free bank pet, uh, the first one they released, which was when they got like a million likes on Facebook or something, and now they're releasing a second one for when they're rewriting the server. Uh, that's supposed to get you on the server to play it. That's why they're giving you that. Uh, yeah, and... Let's uh, just report the issues and bugs, and it goes through how to report them. So that's all the information we have about the server rewrite. Very interesting stuff. Tomorrow, 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 they also have a really long post that you can go here and read about Talk Like Pirate Day and the origins of it, and how to talk like a sailor, yar, and a bunch of other stuff like that, like what it is, explaining it to new uh, people that haven't played through a Talk Like a Pirate Day event. And the event looks so cool. Ba Battle for the Midnight Crown is the event they're doing this year. And the two navels were, of course, you've seen them before, uh, the, the Cursed Navel and the Solar Navel isn't even on here on this post. But the, that will be tomorrow, if you're brand new to a bunch of quests, coming out tomorrow. And uh, I'll be streaming that at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time PST, if you want to search it up uh, to find what time that is where you live. It, I think it is 5 o'clock or 8 o'clock server time, no. 5 o'clock server time, I think, around that time. 5.30 server time, 4.30 server time. It's somewhere around there. Okay, so I'll be streaming that tomorrow. We'll, TLAPD will be out. We can play through the new event. We can get the new armors and all the cool helmets and stuff. So that will be tomorrow. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like down below. Drop a dislike if you didn't like it. And tell me your thoughts about me doing so much news videos. So much, that's not proper grammar. So many news videos on this channel. I'll see you guys all tomorrow for the Talk Like a Pirate Day stream. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.